So I personally left the tour. People think I got fired, or I got kicked off. I voluntarily left. You were a part of one of the biggest tours. I want to say the biggest tour in history, comedy tour. Kings of Comedy was the biggest comedy tour in history with a group of comedians. Well, no, I take that back. Maybe second, because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give Kevin Hart his just due, and the Plastic Cut Boys, Naeem, uh, Spank, and Joey Wells. You know that they did stadiums like football stadiums. So I think that's the only private comedy tour that surpassed the Kings of Comedy. And you know you have the Get Down going around. Uh, to the Get Down Comedy Tour with um, George Lopez, Cedric Entertainer, David Hughley, and rest in peace, uh, Charlie Murphy, uh, and uh, Eddie Griffin. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that tour was incredible. And, and the thing about Kings of Comedy Tour, I was the original host. Uh, I was doing comedy five years at that time. So I considered myself the prince of the Kings of Comedy Tour because no way, no way did my career even uh, match what those guys were doing. At the time, it was just me, Cedric, Bernie, and Steve. And um, I was pegged as the host because I got along with everybody. Like, I did the hottest comedy room in the country, Fat Twos as a comedy store. Uh, I think Walter Latham, who created it, trusted me to be a good host because it's not about just being funny. There's thousands of other funny cats who could have had my spot. I'm just going to be honest. Um, but he pegged me because of the energy, and, you know, God put my name on that. And I learned so much from that tour. Uh, I was a comic when I started that tour. And I would go, we would do 52 dates, man. And I would see those guys go on stage and kill every night. And I wanted to get like that. I had jokes, but I didn't have an act. So I personally left the tour. People think I got fired or I got kicked off. I voluntarily left. If you look at back then, Tavis Smiley had a show on BET called BET Tonight. And had, we had an interview on there with me, Cedric, and Steve, and Bernie called in from Chicago, and I announced on that show I was leaving the tour. And they were like, what? What year was that? This was 1998. Okay. Uh, I left the tour for a few reasons. One, I, I had never really played the club circuit like I do now, the improvs and funny bones. I wasn't like, so I wanted to leave and get an act. And uh, another thing was I ended up getting a TV show as well, you know. I was making probably like three grand a week back then. TV show was paying me 30 grand a week. Uh, <laughs> but at the time, I wasn't, I didn't have the, 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 the credits to be mentioned in those names at that time with, with Cedric, Bernie, Steve. So I ended up leaving the tour and they ended up replacing me with D.L. Hughley, which was smart because D.L. Hughley was on ABC with the Hughleys. So he had that other audience coming in with him along with his black audience and it was a perfect mix. Plus he was doing the same type of numbers on the road as Bernie said and Steve were. I wasn't. So um, yeah, I voluntarily left that too but what happened was and I said this on the Steve Harvey uh, show where we had the Kings of Comedy reunion. Shout out to Steve for having me on that because I wasn't a part of that show and Steve requested like we can't do this show without Guy. He was the original host and he always gave me love and always introduced me as that and I always respect Steve for that man that was that was big it's huge I cried actually to be honest I was honored um but you know I was a comic when I started that tour and I learned the difference between a comic and a comedian and I heard Steve Harvey say that one time and I didn't understand it but a comic says funny things and a comedian makes things funny Comic is someone you don't really know. They tell jokes, but you don't know who they are. A comedian lets you into his or her life. And they get in there, and you know who they are. You become a part of them. Like, you know who they are. And that's what I wanted to become. I had jokes, but I would never, at that time, I wasn't opening up about, you know, my pain. 